Another day, another gadget. Today, we're testing the butter pack cast iron for $195, like super luxury, compared to the Lodge at 30. So here it is, it's the butter pack. It doesn't look like your normal cast iron, like the Lodge. And I love the Lodge, I love this. And it's affordable, it's amazing, it does its thing. This is your standard cast iron, like what you think of, it's super, super black. With the butter pat, it's like this beautiful, like off black. Also, the texture is a little bit different. It's very smooth, whereas this one, you definitely know the texture is a little bit coarse, right off the bat, very different. So, why is this pan like five times more expensive than this? Three different tests today. We're gonna test for evenness with our flour test, my favorite thing in the world. Of course, we're testing steak because for my perfect steak, it's always cast iron. And my favorite thing ever to make with a cast iron, fried rice. One of the things about cast iron is that rust is a big problem. You have to season it right and you have to sort of learn how to use a cast iron. But today, we're gonna see how well it's pre-seasoned and we're gonna test it straight out of the box. For our first test, it's our flour test. So we're gonna start with the lodge. We're gonna use a controlled heat with uh, the Breville because it gets super hot. All right, so it's on. Just want an even layer of flour on the bottom of the pan. Yep, it's a little uneven. The middle is for sure heating up a lot quicker than the edges. It didn't pass the test. Dude, I think it's, it's pretty even compared to the lodge where it was like a very clear, distinct middle burn. Okay, I see it finally getting some color. It looks like it wants to be a little bit more even than the lodge. All right, this looks done. So, flower test. It looks like the butter pat did a little bit better job than the lodge. So, I think that I'm gonna go with the butter pat for the flower test. Okay, next test will be our steak. Just to make sure that this is super even, we're gonna blast this in a 500 degree oven for about 10 minutes to get it ripping hot. And then we'll time it exactly back on the stove, put our steaks on, and see who does a better searing job. It's been 10 minutes, pans are in the oven, 500 degrees, getting ripping hot. We're gonna put it on two burners at the same heat and sear the steaks for three minutes and check them out. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna slightly oil these guys. Oh, look at that smoke. Oh, wow, you can immediately feel, it feels very different. This one's super smooth. Okay, so our steaks. Seasoning with just some salt. So we'll put these down exactly at the same time. I'm just patting them down so we can ensure that there's no air pockets. And then three minutes. So guys, it's been three minutes. I mean, I don't know. They're like pretty dead even. Let's do the other side. Why not? Okay, three minutes on the other side. How's that look? Is that even? It does its thing. With this test, I think it's almost dead even. I mean, it both created that beautiful crust on both sides. So, I think that it's just a dead tie right now at this point. Okay guys, so we saw our steak, it's seared nicely. So we're gonna move on to my favorite thing ever, fried rice in a cast iron. So the greatest thing about these fried rice dishes on the cast iron is that beautiful crust that it forms on the bottom. That's what really makes fried rice for me. Testing the functionality of a dish that I do every day, I think is very important. The fried rice with the fried egg, it's gonna be the perfect test for this. So I do wanna mention with the butter pat, after searing the steaks, we cleaned the pan and it left a mark and it won't go away. So I feel like over time, this definitely will change in color and feel, which is fine as long as it's doing the job, but um, it's a little sad because it was very beautiful. Okay, so fried rice. We're gonna sear the meat first, then we'll do the vegetables, then the rice, and then the last part of it will be the eggs. And if the egg sticks, you have a bad cast iron. We'll see how it goes. All right, so a little bit of oil. We'll add the steak.
season each layer generously. I mean, at this point, there's not really that much of a difference. This is nicely seared, so at this point, I'm gonna take out my steak and do my vegetables. I'll add my veggies. Just gonna let this cook a little bit, and then we'll add the rice. So, little trick, when I add the rice, I like to scoop my vegetables to one side. We'll add the rice. And we'll go ahead and add the vegetables. This is a little weird because the top of my pan with this butter pad is like not sticking at all, but then the bottom is like really, really sticky. So it's like kind of like unevenly seasoned. All right, so I'm gonna add my meat back at this point. I'll add a little bit of seasoning with soy sauce. Tiny bit of sesame oil. Smells so good. Yeah, this one, I mean, it's sticking. And then kind of crusty thing forming. I mean, this is not a bad thing. I think the crust is, is, um, is good, but it's sticking. It's very sticky on the bottom. I want it to slowly crust up. So you can see that crust forming. And actually, this is not sticking that much. It's pretty good. Lodge is killing it. I mean, it's not sticking very much, and it formed a nice crispy crust. If this is worth $200, it better be like sliding off. I mean, it's doing a good job, but definitely it's very sticky. But actually, the crust looks very good on this. You know what? We'll do the egg. We're gonna scramble it. You could do it, you know, fried or either or, but with a scramble, you'll be able to see how much the egg's actually sticking. And I like to just like pop it in here and scramble it in the pan. All right? When I go like that, you see, you see this sticking, creating this weird thin egg layer, the butter pad. You know what, it's weird. Certain areas it is forming that, and in certain areas it's not forming it. On the edge of the butter pad, it's not happening, but right where that middle is. But this one, it's like definitely happening all throughout the pan. So when you learn how to clean the butter pad, it might be like a better result. At this point, there's like certain areas where the steak was cooking that's creating like this re really weird like sticking action. Also mind you, these pans are brand new. So it just takes a while to like really break it in and season of cast iron. So that could be our fault, but we cleaned them the exact same way. All right, so you can see that this egg is still stuck on, on the bottom of the lodge. Let's check this guy, yeah. And with this one, still sticky. It's not seasoned. Okay, so these are done. We saw that maybe there was slightly more sticking of the egg action going here than the butter pad, but I think it's like very similar. And it had more to do with seasoning of the pan in between than the actual pan itself. I feel like the brand really didn't matter that much. Cast iron is cast iron, right? Lodge is awesome because it's just, it's a workhorse. It like does the deed. Nothing really wrong with it. It's cast iron. The butter pad, a little bit fancier. There's like more seasoning and coating on it right out of the box. But really, I don't think that there's much of a difference, especially compared to the price point at 200 versus 30. So in conclusion, the butter pad may look a little bit fancier and maybe for a really nice gift for someone, it's, it's great. But for your first cast iron pan, I, I would recommend a lodge just because of the price point. It's not the same price, so it's up to you. Today's video was brought to you by our sponsor, American Express with the Pay Planet feature, giving you choices for how to make payments big or small.